How about those Chiefs? I've been hearing a lot of y'all talk noise all season long. Up until this game, every announcer was picking the Ravens. Except for my dog, Nick Wright. He's the only one that was right in this situation. <laughs> Well, him and me, of course, because I picked the Chiefs to win the Super Bowl before the season started, and I did it again before the playoffs started. But wait, I thought y'all said that Travis Kelsey was washed! I thought he was supposed to be on his last leg. How's this for washed? 11 targets, 11 receptions, and big play after big play after first down after touchdown. And Patrick Mahomes with the ho-hum victory. Oh, he got shut out in the second half. I'm sorry, was he not up by 10? They were maintaining the game. That defense is elite. I absolutely loved seeing everybody on ESPN today just backtrack. Oh, how could we ever have doubted him? Of course he was gonna make the right plays. Of course Travis Kelsey was going to come up when the moments mattered most. I try to tell y'all. Now let's talk about this game. It started with some pre-game shenanigans. Justin Tucker over where the Chiefs were warming up. Man, get your stuff out of here. Ain't nobody playing with you. Kelsey started off heated and stayed that way, but he wasn't getting penalties. Kept it within the confines of the rules for the most part. This was a defensive game. The Chiefs were going up against the best defense in the league. Well, second best was the Chiefs. All I heard about how that offense couldn't get nothing done. Didn't look like that on the first drive, did it? Now Lamar Jackson came back and answered. What a nice Zay Flowers touchdown. This kid was balling until he wasn't. One team was poised. Championship pedigree. They've been there, done that before. The other team, making silly mistakes, getting frustrated, slamming your helmet, hurting your finger. Back to Zay Flowers, dog. How you gonna talk on my boy Sneed? And then come back and fumble. Created by my dog Sneed. Whoop! Boy, after that first Baltimore touchdown, they didn't get another one for the rest of the game. And honestly, that play calling was suspect. They only called eight runs outside of Lamar Jackson. I thought y'all were a running team. Did Gus Edwards just disappear? Why was he not on the field? The Ravens had like three back-breaking penalties. I can already hear you haters now. The refs are just giving it to the Chiefs. Bro, since when can you clothesline somebody? What are we talking about here? And Jadavian Clowney also knows better than to hit the quarterback in the head when he's trying to tackle him. What are you doing? This game was the Chiefs getting a lead and just maintaining. Don't make stupid plays. Patrick Mahomes, keep the ball safe. Don't turn it over. I hate to do this, but I gotta get on Lamar Jackson. Dog, in the biggest moment to go to the Super Bowl. Came up short, dog. Get a bad fumble and an ugly pick in the triple coverage you can't make mistakes like that when you're going against the baby goat <laughs> feel for Lamar too man because I like Lamar Jackson I would have been fine if he won this game and went to the Super Bowl get himself a ring so I could stop hearing everyone talk about how running quarterbacks can't get it done so on that side it is disappointing they really did show their inexperience they couldn't keep their head in the game making stupid mistakes I feel for y'all I really do talented squad new offense you got new offensive weapons but that's for next year because they took that l from the chiefs zay flowers you definitely can't fumble the ball you'll learn from this but that's for next year you can't get that taunting penalty dog not worth it throwing the ball at them dog you're gonna get penalized for that every time classic rookie mistake you didn't see rasheed rice making that mistake though did you we're gonna revisit that zay flowers rasheed rice conversation at a later date ravens figure out your coaching y'all lost your identity in this game you threw it over twice as many times as you ran the ball y'all gotta get back to that and for the chiefs welcome back to the super bowl baby Woo! let's go how about these chiefs Shout out to Travis Kelsey for breaking Jerry Rice's reception record in the playoffs, 151. Travis Kelsey's gonna smash that record. If he keeps playing, who knows how high that can get. I'll be talking more about this game later this week. I wouldn't consider myself a Swifty, but I got no beef with Taylor Swift. I really don't understand all of this hate she has been getting. Doug, she's there supporting her man. What y'all mad about? Cause they show her more often? First off, last time I checked, this was a business and she gets butts and seats. There's a whole new audience watching football which i'm actually pleased about people that never would have talked about football 
or up here asking about the Chiefs game. I think that's a step in the right direction in regards to them showing her too much. I see why y'all could be frustrated about it, but the NFL needs to take a note from the NBA. They know how to deal with celebrities. It's an easy formula. Let me give it to you, NFL. This is free of charge. The NBA does it perfect. At the very beginning, all the stars have floor seats. You take the camera. You go show the individuals that are there. You want the famous people to get a little shine. Ain't nobody ever complain about Jack Nichols being on the floor seats. Or that guy from the Knicks. Like Lee. Is that Spike Lee? Spike Lee? Because they show him two to three times a game. I think that over time, it'll go to that. But right now, the NFL's just really excited that she's there, so they show her more often. But, I mean, if you really take into account how long she's on the screen, dog, it's like 25 seconds chill. But, on to the next one. The Detroit Lions headed to San Francisco to play the Niners. And they were cooking in that first half. Up 24 to seven and got outscored 27 to seven in the second half. Oh, that must have been a hell of a halftime speech. In the first half, 49ers didn't have it. Missing field goals. Brock Purdy threw an ugly pick into triple coverage. Come on, dog. Tighten up. But you got to give it to the kid. He bounced back in the second half. 27 points? Now that was assisted by the Lions, and I'll get there in a minute. He ran the ball all over the place. My man had almost 50 rushing yards in the second half. What are you, Lamar Jackson? Honestly, I didn't know if he had it in him to bring him back. But oh, did he ever. Now, there was a little luck involved. That Brandon Ayuk touchdown, I don't know if you saw it, but it should have been a pick. It hit my man right in the face. What are you doing? Catch the ball. Brandon Ayuk had the presence of mind to catch it after it hit off of a defender. Are you kidding me? Man, shoot. Of course, Christian McCaffrey did his thing. 90 yards rushing, 42 receiving, two touchdowns. Christian McCaffrey is an absolute beast. But this was a team effort. And Detroit just made bad decisions down the stretch. From going on it on fourth down, when you should just take the points. Josh Reynolds forgetting how to catch the football. And another rookie making mistakes. Jameer Gibbs, hold on to the ball. Also, run on the right side. Towards the end of the game with a minute left. Dan Campbell, you can't run that ball. You won't have enough time left if you don't get it. And you're going to have to use a timeout. I mean, I really feel for the Detroit Lions. And my dog, Eminem, Slim Shady, Mr. Mathers. I was hoping that you could be celebrating on social media today. But now you're just flipping off San Francisco fans. Sad. It's a rough way to lose it. Y'all came so far. I was rooting for y'all. I got family from Detroit on both sides. So I was hoping y'all got it done. But your team is good in a division I think that you can win. I mean, heck, you scored four touchdowns against the San Francisco 49ers. Y'all clearly belong to be here. But mistakes in play calling cost y'all the game disappointing but now we get a rematch san francisco 49ers versus the kansas city chiefs that's gonna be a heck of a super bowl i can't wait we'll be covering that soon i hope your team won and for all you chiefs haters this was the best shot they had to take out the chiefs they were having a down year no receivers well, I think Travis Kelsey and Rasheed Rice did just fine. Also, MVS with the last catch of the game. After everybody wanted him benched, he comes up with the most clutch catch that you can have. Sealing it away in a must-win game to take yourself to the Super Bowl. I couldn't have written it better myself. Oh, wait. This was my playoff Super Bowl prediction, wasn't it? Chiefs versus Niners. Can't write it much better than that. Peace.